Well, my name is Tracy Lomond. I was a substitute teacher. I found myself in a place where I couldn't work anymore because of severe medical conditions for my son. And my mother suggested around Christmas time, she said, you know, go into the food bank, they have a Christmas dinner and it can really help. So I came in um, and they were wonderful. They were so much, they were so great. It just alleviated all of my fears. You know, when we come in to get it, it's almost like you're opening the boxes and it's like, oh yeah, what did we get kind of thing. It's kind of exciting. It's almost like a gift in itself. Well, it is a gift actually, you know, and I really appreciate it. It made a huge difference. I couldn't imagine Christmas without it. So when it come to that point of Christmas time and I was looking at actually not being able to provide that nice supper, you know, panic sets in, certain panic, you know, that you want to be able to provide, you know, the tradition that you've had all along growing up. And it would be hard to explain to the children why you don't have it. Knowing that the food bank is here for us is very comforting. The volunteers would put aside some great things for Mark because he's on a high protein, high fat diet. So they would make sure certain things that come in that they would keep aside for me and give me. And I really appreciate that because it shows that they really care, you know, for my family and, and that his needs are being met. We do get a lot of perishable food from the farmers. They've been awesome. We do look forward to like the tomatoes they get and the cucumbers they get and the carrots and the potatoes. So it's just been great. It's incredible when you realize it's not only my small family that supports me, it's my whole community. I'm hoping one day, you know, we'll get back on our feet and, and I can give back to the food bank, either volunteering or monetary or, or anything I can do to help because they've been so great in supporting us.